organic learning. Hey guys! Today we are going over all of these awesome fire vehicles. Are you ready? Let's get started. This first one, this is a fire pickup truck. You can see it's red and it has yellow designs on it. The top is black. That's where the lights would be. This truck is made by green light. As you can see, it is a Ram 1500. This model is called the Tradesman Pickup Truck, and it's from the Guthrie, Oklahoma Fire Department, which you can tell by that this crest right here. You can see it has a push bumper in the front, probably to push things aside so it can make its way to help people out of emergencies. And there's a has a flatbed, and it's one of those giant trucks that has four doors. So this is full size, this is a giant truck. All right, so you've probably seen these around town, um, maybe following or um, leading fire trucks or things of that nature around emergencies. I don't know if all of them are rams, but this one is. Okay, very cool. Up next, this is an auxiliary power truck. This is made by Matchbox. You can see it says Floodlight Heavy Rescue from the Newfield Borough Fire Company. It says Fire Rescue Unit number two. It is really bright orange. This might be a neon orange with blue and white decals on it. See, there's lights on top. So this bad boy is made by Matchbox. And because it's it's called an auxiliary power fire truck because it provides auxiliary power for um, rescue units. So it has large generators that are on board and they light up these huge floodlights that are on top. So if they need to light up um, an emergency scene at night, um, these can be rotated to point in any direction to help firefighters and other rescue teams do what they need to do. So these guys have a very, very important job. I've never seen one of these up close. Have any of you? I'd be curious to know how big it is. If it's carrying two big generators, I bet it's pretty, pretty big. Alright, there you go. This next one is a pumper fire truck. You can see that it's red with black and white details. Now, let's guess. If it says radiator springs on it, what do you think that means? That's right, it's red from the Disney Cars movie. Look at that. It says radiator springs fire department on the side. There's a little face. And Red is actually a 1960s Maxi series pumper fire truck. That's a lot of words. Okay, what that means is that um, these things on the side over here pump all of the water that they need for giant fires. And then the firemen can get on this ladder and then they can hose everything down like for you know, giant, maybe 10 story, all buildings that are on fire, if that's a thing. All right, there you go. Very cool. Up next is this bright yellow guy. This is an airport fire truck. You can see because it says Metro Airport, and then it says Foam Unit Number Three. So this truck has it has this thing up top which is a spray cannon and it sprays foam instead of water because foam is better at putting out fires um, that occur on airport runways um, I'm not really sure why probably something having to do with um, 
chemicals and fuel, but that's this. Thankfully, I've never had to see this guy in person. Um, but I wonder how big he is up close. Bright yellow with red designs on it, and this is made by Matchbox. And then you can see this moves around a lot. I wonder, do you think this whole thing inside would be filled with foam? Because that's a lot of foam. <laughs> okay, moving on. We have a monster truck fire truck. Monster fire truck? That's probably better to say. So it says backdraft on the side, which refers to fire. And it says Wellen? Wheelin? I'm not really sure what that says. Monster Jam and BDE. I'm not really sure what BDE stands for. Is it Backdraft Emergency? If you know, please let us know. We're trying to figure that out. So you can see it's red. It has giant wheels. Um, it has black and gray detailing. Now, I don't think this kind of a truck exists in real life, although who knows? I could be wrong, and if I'm wrong, I would love to see this up close. That is really funny. So clearly this is a Hot Wheels bad boy, and it says keep back 100 feet, probably because when it takes off it probably, I wonder if like fire comes out of the back of it. Oh, maybe that's why it's called backdraft, because when it takes off then like fire shoots out of the back. That seems to make sense. And then, of course there's a bald eagle in the back. All right, I say let's let's start fighting fires with a monster truck. Who's with me? Okay, this is a boat, clearly. <laughs> this is a fire department of New York fire rescue boat. This is made by Siku. Um, since it's a boat, it's probably safe to guess that it probably patrols the Hudson and East River in New York. Um, if you don't know where that is, give it a Google and you'll see it on the map. Um, you can see it has an open design, so there's no cover on top. Um, and it has a single engine in the back, which is this guy. And the siren is up here on the roller bar. So... It kind of looks like a, a pontoon boat, like maybe something you'd see in um, in New Orleans, going through the swamps, but this is specifically for fire rescue. Interesting. I've never seen one of these up close, have you? I'd really like to know if this is what they really look like. Okay. Now this is what's called a multi-purpose fire truck. It is red, as is the usual with fire trucks. Um, this is made by Tamika. It's a Merida MV fire vehicle. So uh, because it's a multi-purpose fire truck, it means it has a lot of cabinets for storage of you know fire and rescue equipment on both sides. And it features an aerial platform. What does that mean? It means it can move around. Whoa, look how high that goes. Perfect for rescuing kittens out of trees. I'm pretty sure that's all that's all I'd be doing, right? Rescuing little cute kittens out of trees? No, it does so much more than that. But also perfect for kittens out of trees. Oops, okay. There we go. All right, our penultimate truck is, you guessed it, a red fire truck. This is a rescue fire truck. It's made by Tamika. Um, this is actually another multi-purpose vehicle, just like the red one we just looked at. Um, it has this like fun, exciting white stripe on it. it looks almost like um, a, a lightning bolt. Maybe it goes really fast, I don't know. Um, anyway, let's see, it has uh, ladders on top, um, it has these compartments on the side like the other one we just looked at, and then it has um, floodlights on top to 
to help light a scene at night. Oh, these rather. Hmm, just kidding, got that wrong. And this is, it has a crane arm on the back to help move heavy items. So maybe it has to move like a car out of the way in order to get through. Um, maybe it has to move giant pieces of rubble if there is um, an earthquake and a fire. Um, this is probably the truck to have, the fire truck to have um, for an emergency because it's so useful. You can see inside, look at the little chairs. Very neat. It says H-I-N-O. I wonder what that stands for. Is that Hina? We'll find out. I'm sure somebody will tell us. Okay, and finally, rescue helicopter. Okay, this is clearly a Hot Wheels Fire Air Ops helicopter. It is, let's see, that's a sparkly green with red and yellow and black design and orange windows. Very interesting choice, Hot Wheels. Let's see. Um, so rescue helicopters are actually used by firefighters to rescue people when they need help. So um, if they need to rescue people from the water or transport injured hikers from steep mountain sides or deep canyons, like if they get stuck somewhere and they can't get out, um, this is what these guys are usually used for. And you can see these rotors on top of the helicopter, right? Very typical helicopter uh, piece of equipment or feature. Um, they help the helicopter you know, lift straight up into the air and then drop gently down and then hover into place, as helicopters tend to do. Kind of looks like a bug, right, with this coloring? Like if a cricket was a helicopter. Okay. Okay, gotta go. We hope you had fun going over all of these awesome fire vehicles. Bye-bye, see you next time. If you liked our video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. Thank you.